Hey there and welcome to the third version of HE.net's IPv6 update number 47. Our initial thought was to help users understand how Hurricane Electric's Bye Bye V4 exhaustion counter works, given the amount of questions we had received about the IANA IPv4 address count. The first time we did the webcast, the count was at 34 million IPs, then we redid it because the count dropped to 9 million IPs, then we redid it again because APNIC was granted its request for two more slash 8 net blocks. By now it should be no surprise to you that the internet is growing very quickly. The question of where does that leave us now is fairly easy to answer. The IANA is holding on to the last 5 slash 8 net blocks, but given that there's a press conference on Thursday in Miami, Florida with all the major internet organizations, we can guess that the IANA pool has exactly one day left to live. Each RIR will get one of those final slash 8 net blocks and a little something extra. The 128 slash 8 net block through the 198 slash 8 block have an average of 84% utilization rate. Those are the old class B and class C blocks that were given out before the introduction of the regional internet registries. From that space, each RIR will get an additional 1.7 slash 8 net blocks, with the exception of RIPE, which will get only 0.7 of a slash 8 due to earlier address delegation handiwork. So with roughly 2.7 slash 8s given to each, how much time do we have before RIR level IPv4 exhaustion? The estimations vary, but surely APNIC will go first, maybe in July of this year, followed by RIPE and ERIN in 2012, LACNIC in 2014, and AFRNIC in 2015. These figures could change very quickly, depending on future growth and how people react to IPv4 exhaustion with their v4 netblock requests. Thankfully, within the week, you should be able to update your Hurricane Electric counter to watch the new IP4 countdowns happen. We'll be there with you to watch.